My name is Tim Bennix. I'm a Nuxt.js ambassador and I'm the principal developer advocate at Uniform. In this short tutorial, we will be discussing view use and specifically the use media query composable. Normally you use media queries in CSS to you know, show a different color based on a certain media query or a different layout, stuff like that. But when you're building a single page app with view, for example, you might actually want to do conditional rendering based on these same rules. Imagine if you're switching to a landscape, your app will just not work. You just can write a little message saying, hey, move your phone back, stuff like that. And so when you look at the screen here, I've already loaded the few use core use media query composable, and I've actually added a whole bunch of media queries. And when you use use media query, it becomes a reactive property. So you can really use that in your view app. Because if you do it with vanilla JavaScript, with match media, it's not reactive. So if you look here, you can actually conditionally render, I am only meant for large screens, or I am only meant for landscape. So when you then actually move this around, you can see, oh, suddenly these things are now rendered. So it's listening to the media query to say, hey, it fires or it doesn't. And based on that, um, you get some booleans and you can do great stuff. Okay. Now for an extra cool thing. You probably want to know if it's a large screen in all your components and you don't want to be doing a media query every time. So what I have here, let's just go to main JavaScript or your main TS and actually set it up in a bit of a different way. Let me just copy paste for speed purposes. So what I've done here, actually in my main JavaScript, I'm injecting or providing all these media queries, but they're still um, reactive. So that works really well. So now that we go back to app.view and actually slightly differently grab this, we're actually going to inject these things into the app. Now when I refresh the page, it still works, right? And so basically what this has done is providing these media queries throughout your app and you just have to inject them and that's really handy. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.